Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie. I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we are going to discuss chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. We'll explain how we can make diagnosis and how we can assess for severity using spirometry and MRC score. And what is asthma COPD overlap? Coming right up. COPD is a common respiratory condition affecting millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the airway of the lungs become inflamed, damaged and obstructed, usually caused by smoking. COPD is progressive and generally irreversible and it is a preferred name for emphysema, chronic bronchitis and COAD. Additionally, there is a rare genetic condition called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency which accounts for less than 1% of the cases. Common symptoms associated with COPD are persistent cough which is often productive with sputum. Um, it is often referred to as smoker's cough and then shortness of breath. We think up to about 3 million people in the UK have COPD. Many patients with COPD experience frequent chest infection with weave and breathlessness often affect their quality of life and require medical attention. COPD generally affects patients over the age of 40 and is more common in men. In fact, um, exacerbation of COPD account for up to 1 in 8 of hospital admission in the UK. It is important to differentiate COPD from other respiratory conditions such as asthma. Although they share many similarities, there are some key differences between the two. Unlike asthma, COPD is persistent and permanent due to already damaged and fixed airways. Asthma, on the other hand, often has triggers, it is reversible and is closely linked to allergies, eczema and hay fever. It is also worth noting that um, COPD is rare um, for patients under the age of 35. And you can check out more about asthma and how we can diagnose and manage this condition in my previous video. Some patient has a combination of asthma and COPD. We call this asthma and COPD overlap syndrome or ACOS. A COS usually affects asthmatic patients who has a prolonged history of smoking, leading to irreversible airway damage and obstruction over a prolonged period of time of smoking. Now let's have a look at how we uh, make diagnosis of COPD. COPD is diagnosed based on a clinical symptoms and examination. Um, and then we use a post-bronchodilator spirometry to support diagnosis. During a post-bronchodilator spirometry, the patient is given um, short-acting beta agonists such as a butamol um, via spacer um, before uh, spirometry to assess for an airflow obstruction. Airflow obstruction is defined by a ratio between force expiratory um, volume in one second FEV1 um, over force vital capacity FVC of less than 0.7. Once COPD is diagnosed, it is important to assess for its severity. The severity is graded based on the reduction in FEV1 to reference values, taking into account certain factors such as age, sex, height and ethnicity. There are four stages based on FEV1, 
from stage 1 mild when FEV1 is more than 80% predicted to stage 4 when FEV1 is less than 30% predicted in very severe cases. In addition to spirometry, we should also perform a chest x-ray looking for hyperinflation and also a full blood count looking for anemia and polycythemia. Physical examination may identify um, wheezing, hyperinflated chest, um, raised JVP and ankle swelling which can be seen in core pulmonale. Core pulmonale refer to right heart failure from lung disease leading to raised um, pulmonary hypertension and also hypoxia. Another assessment of um, COPD severity is MRC score, which evaluate the impact of COPD on daily activity and there are five different levels. From grade 1 when the patient is not troubled by the breathlessness unless the patient is under strenuous activity to grade 5 when the patient is too breathless to leave home and the patient experiences breathlessness from um, simple um, daily activities such as dressing and undressing. Thank you for watching this video and why don't you check out another video I made on asthma diagnosis and asthma management. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my GP Team Academy channel and until next time.